Hi guys, I'm Chris. And I'm James. And welcome to The Better Out Than In. Today we're going to do another Rugby World Cup special. Oh yes we are. Yep. Um, okay, so uh, just to give a bit of a recap. Yeah. Um, okay, so... This isn't great. Yeah, well uh, we... <laughs> We, we missed out on Scotland. Uh, <laughs> yeah, balls uh, that one up completely. They're yeah, gone. Balls that one up. Uh, they're, they're gone. They're, yep. They uh, they did not make it. Um, but having said that, if we did not apply a penalty to uh, to Japan, yep. uh, we would have been right with that. True, so, definitely. Uh, yeah, Japan did, uh, did fairly well yep. in that respect. We still punted Scotland. Um, we, uh, we punted Ireland out of our um, yeah, competition. Yeah, uh, but they're back. They're back with a vengeance. Um, and today we're going to be pitting them against New Zealand. Uh, well, we're not going to be. They are actually doing that themselves. We're just going to be mimicking. We're, we're doing our version of the game. Our version of the game. Much more um, interesting. Spectator friendly. Yeah, exactly. As YouTube has decided already. Yeah. Um, so this will be obviously a fair and impartial um, analysis, as as we uh, are used to doing here at the Better Out Than In. To be sure. To be sure. Yeah. So um, so we're in the quarterfinals. So we're doing these two today. We won't be doing uh, Australia and England because England's not really known for its whiskey. Uh, France or Wales. Wales aren't really known for their whiskey and until we did the Bastille day one I wouldn't have said France was known for its whiskey and we won't do South Africa or Japan because I can't get hold of any or we can't get hold of any South African whiskey in Australia. Not that on quick. On short notice. Yeah not that quick. We will be no. doing a South African one though. I can't wait to do that. Yep. I've Celebrate their things. Freedom Day I think in April or something next year. We'll do one at least by then. Yeah we'll probably yeah. try one before then but we'll definitely bring that to you uh, for their Freedom Day. Yep. Yeah, so, so what are we doing today? We are doing the quarterfinals. Um, so uh, we went with the whiskies that are a little bit more obscure, a little bit uh, harder to get because obviously this is a quarterfinal. So during the finals, you bring your A game kind of thing. Yep. Um, now these aren't necessarily their A games, but they are a step above. Um, so what we have here today is we the... Hope so. <laughs> well, we hope so. Anyway, we're, we're going to be trying that out. We're going to be seeing who the winner is impartially. Very, very impartially. Very impartially. Um, which is the Thompson Manuka Smoked... Um, honey, not honey, but it, it kind of reflects the New Zealand honey. Yep, and um, the tree that's native to New Zealand and Australia, but I think New Zealand's um, copyrighted the name Manuka. Manuka, lost, yes, lost exactly. that legal battle. Uh, and it does have a lot of um, power behind it, that name. It does, so, actually. It's yeah. a very well-known honey. Yeah, so ho hopefully the whiskey does it justice. Um, we also have the Jemison Caskmate Stout, yep. um, which to me just sounds like an absolute staple of Ireland. It yeah, just exactly. sounds Stout like... Stout beer. Yes. We have Irish whiskey. Yeah, How just could you mixing wrong? the two together yep. and getting as much... How uh, could you go wrong? <laughs> as much Ireland in a bottle as possible. Yep. Um, so, yeah, the New Zealand whiskey is a little bit more niche, um, slightly more expensive. So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, because there are so boutique and there's not that much supply. Yeah. than they are therefore a bit more expensive as, each time so as whatever. much as you want to get like the similar sort of comparison of the prices it, it is, is what it it's is close enough yeah it's, it's close enough assuming you buy that in New Zealand <laughs> yeah. not in Australia yeah well if you can find it in Australia yeah. New Zealand rugby team was introduced in 1870 uh, they've won the last two uh, rugby world cups so sadly three in total yeah so we're expecting a big game from them to be honest yep. um, a, a very big game from them we're expecting them to bring it they're looking a little anemic I must be honest that's looking yeah if they had a green bottle it might, might look better we'll see you after we've poured, poured them it out, out. True. yeah we, we, we've been surprised before so I won't get yes. too much into the colour no. um, but they, they've been ranked number one for pff, I don't know a decade or so pretty um, much in a row yeah. a decade until Ireland actually beat them but they've been Longer at number one in the world than any of the other teams combined. Wow. Which is just shows you their dominance. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of scary. It, it's, it's basically a religion over there now as yep. opposed to um, a sport. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. like, um, you know, the um, European teams with soccer. Thomas Manuka um, is actually uh, a boutique distillery uh, in northwest of Auckland that uses 100% New Zealand ingredients, uh, which obviously for me, I, Something you love, right? I, I love any <laughs> company that uses locally sourced ingredients. I think it's fantastic. Um, anyone that can get behind, you know, their, their local produce, um, I, I think just works even better. Definitely got good produce, which New Zealand well, exactly like New Zealand and Australia. Yeah. Exactly. It, it's just one of those things until it catches on. Um, but malted barley from New Zealand Island. Um, they also use barley that is smoked uh, with wood from the Manuka tree. So they're, they're taking it uh, to the next level um, as well with their uh, integration of the Manuka. So this might be a bit more smoked than I'm used to. But we'll see how this goes. Potentially, uh, yeah. potentially. Uh, we, we haven't really sort of delved too much into the peated whiskies. So no, the not. smoky flavor is something that's a little bit foreign to us at the moment. 
Um, but we'll see how that one goes uh, as well. Manuka is uh, the Maori name for the tree that grows in New Zealand. It does also grow in Australia, but unfortunately we lost that battle not that long ago for the naming yeah, rights. So yeah, I think it's happening as we speak. Yeah, and uh, produced uh, a specific type of honey. Um, now, if you haven't heard of Manuka honey, uh, again, climb out from under the rock that you've been hiding under because it is one of the most popular honeys in the world at the moment. Or imported if you're overseas. If you're yeah. overseas. And, and make sure you look out for the um, certified ones because there is a lot of just, uh, yeah, yeah, sugar uh, that's going around at the moment that's claiming to be honey. Um, Agent X bourbon and French oak casks. It's not chilled filtered, no added color. I always love that kind of stuff. So it does look a little bit more anemic. Um, it does but it's just one of those things where they're being natural. 46% ABV, so expecting a little bit of spice out of that one, uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So we've been through Ireland before. The rugby kicked off in the 1870s or whatever it was. Um, they were ranked number one coming to the Rugby World Cup. Obviously, as they struggled a bit in the pools, with Japan beating them, they're not number one in the world. I think probably New Zealand is again. Um, and they did recently beat New Zealand. Not the last team to beat them, I believe that was Australia. Look, not that I have anything uh, against New Zealand, I'm just... Rolling my eyes. For, rolling eyes at all. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the whiskey itself, so it's normal Jameson triple distilled. It came about due to a conversation between the head distiller of Jameson and the head brewer of the Francescan uh, Well Brewery in Cork. And so basically they age it after going through the normal process. They put it into stout season casks. And the Francescan Well, I believe, actually took some of the Jameson casks back. So um, it's done quite well. Again, another award winner, supposedly. Um, San Francisco World Whiskey Awards in 2019, Guana Gold, I think, um, 2017 as well. So looking forward to this one. This one should be decent. So let's see the color here. All right, pour. Oh, that's a dehydrated urination. Oh, that's a bit heavy handed, but sorry. You'll, that's all right. You'll, 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 you'll live. We'll live. We'll, we'll have to deal with the fact yeah. that we have to drink more oh, whiskey. I don't know no. how we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay, so uh, definitely the color. Uh, the color Jamison is is much richer oh, yeah. uh, in color. Yeah, it's like a pale white wine. I had a quick smell because I, I spilled a little bit on my hands, but I've got to say that smell is very interesting of the um, oh wow yeah of the New Zealand one. Very very interesting. To oh. me, it's wine and white wine. Pea. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, definitely white wines. You get the grapes, you get the fruit. Yeah. A bit dry a bit on the, through the it nose. Well. Yep. Oh, Jamison was always the harder one to sort of pick because it's, um, they're usually triple distilled with the the sort of Irish process. I'm definitely getting orchard fruits. Like I get fresh apple, mm. um, a little bit of pear, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's much much sweeter. It's much, much yeah, sweeter. They're, they're so different. Which we kind of knew they were going to be, but yeah. we, we went with something that was more in line with their heritage, yeah. right? Yeah, New Zealand's a little, it's fruity, but it's a dry fruit. Oh. Very dry. You know, like a green apple type uh, grape. Dried out apple. Right? Yeah. yeah, kind of yeah. thing, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, which one do I want to taste first? I'm going to go the sweet one. Mm. I get more fruit again. And it's really nice. Mm. I like that so far. No comment. Mm, I really liked the New Zealand one, and it's the Abitrotion Irish one. Oh. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> that's very, yeah, that's how I feel a bit after drinking the New Zealand one. Yeah. It is a smoky. It's, it's, it's smoky, it's intense. It is intense. It's powerful. Definitely, you can taste the, the charred, um, I don't know if it's Manuka or whatever it is, but you can taste that throughout. It reminds me of, weirdly enough, not weird, well, not weirdly enough, the honey. It does, yeah. like a raw honey. Yeah. Um, not a refined, sweet no. honey. It's very raw, like biting straight into a honeycomb. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows what that actually tastes like. Um, I, fi I find the Jamison a lot sweeter. Um, I find the New Zealand one more interesting, to be honest. It, it makes me want just a little I bit more. I don't know. I, I understand well, all the flavors that are going when on. When I Jamison. first had this though, I'm like, that's definitely the loser. But as you let it linger, on, it subdues enough that you actually enjoy the flavors. To begin mm. with, it's very intense. Yeah, straight away, it's, it's, 
It's difficult. I, I don't necessarily find it enjoyable, to be honest. Stretch, yeah, straight yeah, away no, on the palate. I'm just like, oh, this doesn't really. You, to begin with, it's it's a bit yeah. of an effort. You got to put the in finish. The, work. the finish is actually quite nice. Yeah, though. very very nice. This is, to me is just sweet fruits. Yeah. That's, what, that's what the. It's just easy. It's just yeah. you know, just comfortable. You can have a sip. And... Yeah, you could definitely drink a lot more of that in a session than you could at the New Zealand one. Yeah, New Zealand one is very niche. Okay, so who wins? Yeah, it's, it's Irish to me because. This to me is a, it's a more pleasant Langevillain, not that mm. I'm really a big fan of Langevillain, and I'd happily have a glass because it was very interesting, but to keep drinking, I've easily go Irish one. It's much nicer. Yeah, for me, hands down, it's it's uh, it's the island one. It's just easier to drink, nicer. I mean, it's it's an interesting oh, flavour that New Zealand one has come up with, but it's not necessarily a pleasant one. But I island just, to win. Yeah, definitely off that one. Island to win. They're, they're going to win. Where's gold? <laughs> Potatoes! <laughs> On that note, that's all we have time for, so see we'll you see you later, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us at The Better App Than In. Remember, if you like this video, to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any feedback or suggestions, leave us a comment or drop us a line. The Better App Than In supports the responsible service and consumption of alcohol. If you're a friend would like any more information about this, please visit drinkwise.org.au or your local alcohol support organization.